Hello again, it's Rich here. I'm just going to show you a variant I created for blue and gray. And that is super blue and gray. Uh, what we did was we ended up nerfing the power. The main thing difference between this and regular blue and gray is we nerfed the power to pieces and then they could promote and become... And then you now have something which should have two in it. Hang on. And I gotta figure it out. Bear with me one second. I'm just gonna, anyhow, let's just zoom up and I'll show you. I just wanna show you stacking and so on. So we will pop that in there like that. Anyhow. I'm going to get better at this, but let's get to the game, and I'll show you the number of variants you can do with the traditional blue and gray. These pieces move one space forward and backwards. They also can move side to side if they move next to an enemy piece, and it can capture, for example, this say, piece moves here. This piece gets to leap over and capture it. If there's another piece here, let's say there or there, you could jump and jump. And the object of the game is the pieces move along these lines. The black lines also allow you diagonal movement. And you're trying to navigate a king. Let me get a check and put it back here. And now back up. One thing I have set here is the lift is a bit low because I don't want to have an issue. So I'm going to fix the lift for a second. Let's make it a little bit higher. I just If you do it really high, it'll bounce. So anyhow, and the other thing too is that, and it's the same here in this game, these pieces here, you can't, you, the men piece, they're called privates in this, you're not allowed to take a piece and move in the middle, you can't. And I am reckless, so, <laughs> okay, let's get this out of here, that's interesting. I have these here, just simply because I wanted to have pieces if I needed to promote. So you use extras at this point, so, okay. Let's just pull these out of the way. And I have these here, so. So you have to stack to three. Anyhow, let's get to the game. The differences between this and regular blue and gray. So. One big difference. These pieces move like Turkish checkers. They do not move backwards. They can move forward and uh, they can move forward this way. Okay. If he was here, he had an option of going here, going there, or going there. Can't pass through. Or moving laterally. You can't move backwards. And the other thing though is that you see this black line of pieces? This back line. If you get a if you get a checker to that, or if the black one gets over here what you end up having is he gets promoted. So he would end up being, and let's see if we can get any good at this. I'm actually going to zoom in closer. Bear with me one second. So we don't need to be that far away. So if I move in like this, I can highlight. And now I have that. So now he has the ability to move backwards. Let's go here. This is a good spot. And he could go this way, this way, that way, or that way, or that way. So, they get to move backwards by getting promoted. So, it's like a checker king. So, he becomes a sergeant. And that's still a captain. And these are privates. So, that's pretty much it. Navigate the piece. Like red, and blue, and gray. But they promote when they hit the back row. So, another thing. Let's show you several variants you can do with it. And these variants also would work with red, or blue, and gray. What am I doing here? Swapping sides. This is the POW variant. Uh, enemy captain's been captured behind enemy lines, and instead of going this way, he would come like this around and, and up. And then this one would navigate the line that way. Another, ver another version that you can play, and it can be combined with this one, is let's call it the turbo captain mode. This one here was also implemented when I did it in Zillions, because Zillions doesn't play this game well. Let's say, for example, see what I'm talking about, you have to be careful where things go, because they'll fall over. There we go. 
let's move this out of the way. Let's say first turn, I do that, and whatever comes up to meet me. You have to be careful you grab two. He does that just to meet me, and then I do this because I have something else in mind. Turbo Captain, and that goes like this here. You could also put a turbo piece to do the same thing, and I would navigate along the line to here because it's blocked. That's another way to es expedite things. And you could play this regular blue and gray also, or that there. You also could play with another, if you want to add something up, some more checkers. You could play with another row of pieces. By the way, these extra pieces were the handle promotion. You could play with three rows of those, or if you want, you play with more pieces. Or you can end up, you know, you want to speed up the game, get rid of the back row of pieces, so you have these here. And there's another one which came from Zillions, got implemented. If the enemy king, whatever, if somebody's king gets three spaces or more ahead, hang on a second, make sure I get this one right here. He moves three space difference. If he's three spaces closer, he would end up being three spaces closer. He ends up getting, he ends up winning. So if I really push for it. One thing I'm going to highly recommend here for that is you do not play this game that way. And I'm knocking stuff over. That's interesting. Wow. So anyhow. That's pretty much it. These pieces move in super blue and gray. These pieces only move forward and diagonally forward. They don't move backwards until they promote and become like kings. And then this line here, you can have the POW version where they swap positions and other things. So this is an 8x8 board where you can play along the outside by just marking it up. I've done this a number of times. And this is, this is my variant on the game. It's about 100 years old. Anyhow. So, that's about it. We'll do here. So let's take these pieces. And you can shake them together. And just bring them together and put them to the side like that so they're out of the way. Okay, so that's it. This is super blue and gray. This is super blue and gray, and we're about done here. So I do want to thank you for watching, and may your die always roll five.